Hi, welcome back. In this video, we will be styling the my tenant dotness tenant. Now, we will style this tenant by using a base theme and the override module that is the theme override module on dot nest. Now, let us go to the themes area and enable the pretty good bootstrap base theme. Let us come back to the front end and let us have a look at how the pretty good bootstrap base theme looks like. Now, this is how the pretty good bootstrap base theme looks like. Now, let us try to override some styles which come from the pretty good bootstrap base theme. Now, let us use Bootswatch and let us search for a theme. Let's go with the superhero theme and let's copy this CSS URL. And now in order to override, we need to enable the theme override module. And let's go to the themes area and click on the theme override settings tab. And here we can override uh, styling, scripts, placements and five icon URLs. For styles, we have options to put a URL for a style sheet, some custom stylings. Then we have options for scripts, head script URL, custom head scripts, then foot script URL and custom foot scripts. And the last is the placement and you can override placements and have custom placement declarations. Now we have a, a, a URL for a style sheet which will override the pretty good bootstrap base theme. Let's click save and let's come back and refresh and we have overrided the pretty good bootstrap based theme. Now this is how you can use the theme override feature on dot nest to override some stylings for your orchard dot nest tenants. Thank you.